So I want to share with you three techniques. Now in the integrated human, we think about the jhana yogi or the, the seers. We talk about the bhakti yogis or the, the beers. And then we talk about the karma yogis or the doers. So seers, beers, and doers. Okay. And each one of us have a strength in these different areas. We have, some people have the, the strength of visualization and determination. Some people have an emotional skill. They're able to throw lots of emotion on things and motivate themselves through their emotions. And some people ju are just doers. As long as they're able to do something, they're fine. And each one of those types of people have different access points to their own personal success. So that the, the seers, what we generally use is the sound bite of success. And what do I mean by that? So if you think about what your highest goal and ambition is for 2021, what would that be? Picture yourself, the best possible version of yourself. Are there things that you would like to accomplish in 2021? Yes, there are. And who would that be? What kind, what version of yourself would be successful in those ventures? Is it the same you that's sitting here now? Because if that's the case, then it's going to be easy to do. If it's a different, if it's an upgraded version of yourself, what I want you to picture is you succeeding. Even take a moment and close your eyes for a second and think of yourself succeeding at the highest level with your ambitions for 2021. Now, when you get excited about this, what sound, what sound do you hear yourself making? When you're succeeding, think about your succeeding. Is it a boom shakalaka? Is it a yoo-hoo? Or is it like, bring it, baby, let's roll. What's your sound? Now, which one of you guys have an easy time finding a sound for yourself? And you guys are most likely very powerful in your minds. That means that you have a you have a, a, a special skill for that. Now, don't worry if it didn't come easy for you, don't stress because we're gonna fix that. We're gonna fix it because we're gonna find two other access points and I guarantee you one of those are your special skill. So let's go back to the sound bite of success. So this is what this is. Now, in ancient times, people used mantras. And what a mantra was, was a condensed feeling, condensed thought, that allowed people to reorganize their bodies back to focus on their God or focus on their highest philosophy or align themselves with something good. So very often they would use these like, like um, a mantra. Um, some people would say Ram Ram or Om Namah Shivaya or different things in the, in the East. And each one of those times that they would say this, they would come back to their strength, to their power center. So what I would like you to do, if it was easy for you to find your, your, uh, your sound bite of success, that is your new mantra. That's your new mantra walking in to your 2021. And why am I saying it's your new mantra? Because I want you to say it. If you really felt that it was juicy and good, I want you to have that. And I want you to say it as you get up in the morning, as you walk to work, as you're walking between people, you're shaking hands and I want you to continually remind yourself about your highest goals and ambitions. And why is that? Most of our failure doesn't come because we're bad people. Most of our failure because we go to sleep. We forget how many of us have opened up a bag of potato chips and then look down again and it's all gone. And you're like, hold on a second. Did I eat that whole bag? Of oh my God, right? Who's done that with a, with a chocolate bar? I mean, I know I have, right? And it's because we fall asleep, we go unconscious. So we have to make the decision to become conscious.
And that's the biggest skill. Now, when I, <laughs> only with Ben and Jerry's, nice. <laughs> so, so when you're working with your mantra, you're constantly reminding yourself to be awake and reminding yourself to represent your highest self. Does that make sense? Because if you're not really interested in waking up and making the better decision, then I guarantee you that it wasn't something that you were interested in doing anyway. So which one of you had an easy time finding the sound bite that you'd like to use? Like when you can really imagine yourself making a great sound when you win. Raise your hands. Excellent. So what I'd like you to do is I would like you to do me a favor and use that sound a lot. In your head, you can think it or you can say it. You don't have to do it right now. I'm not saying right now, right? But I want you to use it every single day. Like if it's a boom shakalaka, boom shakalaka, or roll them or whatever it is, Think about walking into your room, you're going into a challenging meeting and you're going to, you're going to say it. You can keep that sound. You can keep that sound with you all day long to remind you of how it feels to be successful.